Hello, Edwin. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, perfect. We're just gonna wait maybe for somebody else to join us so we can start the class, okay? Oh, good. Perfect. We are just, just me and you? Yes, right now, yes. I don't know what happened with the others. Let me, I'm going to send them a message uh, through WhatsApp. Good. It's a good idea because nobody. <laughs> nobody. <has comments>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was your day? Ah, very busy. Really? Yes. And what about your very busy? I mean, I've been working six since a six six a.m. Six a.m. Damn. What time what do you normally? Go? Ah? What time do you normally go out? From work at 3 30 p.m. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, good. Yeah, I, was, I have a good day too. Basically, I just don't, don't for the situation that we are living right now, uh, I don't have uh, too much things to do. Nice. No, I have a lot of things to do. Mm. Now, hello, Fatima. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Tired, Perfect. but fine. <laughs> Tired, me too. <laughs> me too. Okay, so I think I think we have Edwin and you, right? So we're going to start with the class with the two of you, right? So we're gonna start Ooh. working today, right? Now, when Edwin was coming, I was presenting the class, right? Let me see here. Can you see my 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 computer? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. What about now? Yes. Yes. Okay. No, wonderful. Yes, yes. Wonderful. Very good. National English for World Program Series. This is INSA four, right? National English for World Program. It, well, today we're going to continue working with unit number two. Right? We, we're going to cover a little bit of um, competency number one and competency number two, which is ask and tell about a schedule activities for a regular day in the workplace and ask and tell information related to marketing strategies. Right? Those are the two things that we're going to cover. And a little bit of number three, okay? Now, that's what we're going to do. But before that, hello, Alan. We're going to work here. And we're going to talk about what we completed yesterday. Let me see here. Right, because today is video conference number seven, how to use adverse of frequency. Maybe you have heard about adverse of frequency. Do you know them? No? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Because today we're going to practice them. Hello, Raul. No. Hello. Hello, hello. Now we're going to work here and if you can see on my computer. Well, this is, this is a little bit about what we did yesterday about Alan and Paul, right? I want you to remember a little bit of, of the verbs that we used yesterday. Who can tell me what would be the, the answer for this exercise? Do you remember some of the verbs? Alan, get up. No. Okay, okay. Alan? Get, get up. Get up, okay. What is something that is missing here when we say get? If this is he, right? He gets up. Okay. Uh, Alan gets up at seven o'clock. Very good, right? Another another sentence that you remember? Another verb? 
Leave. Leave, okay. Which one? Number two, three, five? Number two. Okay. He leaves home. He leaves home at 7.45. Very good. He leaves home at 7.45. At what time do you leave home every day? Let's suppose we are not in a pandemic or before the pandemic. At what time do you leave home? 4.30. At 4.30 a.m.? Yes. Oh my God, that's early in the morning, right? At 4.30 yep. a.m. Okay. Yep. Very early. Now, who remembers? You're killing your life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what's the other one? Another one here? Uh, who remembers I... one more? He drive. No. He went. No. <laughs> he goes to work by car. He goes. Go. He goes to work by car. Okay, very good. He goes to work by car. Raul, do you remember any other? He gets to work. He gets to work. Mm -hmm. He gets to work at 8.45. Okay, very good. Like one hour to travel, right? Very good. So this is what we need to remember, right? We need, we're going to work today with verbs, right? We don't know all the verbs, but we're going to work with the verbs that we know, right? Now, let's continue here. Let me share again the screen. Give me one moment. Okay, we're going. To, I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about simple present. Right now, simple present is used for different things right let me make this I, I don't i don't know how to make this smaller well we use simple present here for the for these four important things for habits for true in the present for schedules right like your schedules at work and for general information or fact or truth right and let's take a look at the examples. Fatima, can you please read the examples here in habits? Habits. I always drink coffee at work. Very good. She get, gets up at 7 a.m. every day. They usually eat dinner at home. Okay, very good. So in this case, if we pay attention to this, right, these are habits. Right, so these are things that we do every day, right? Every day, or that we do sometimes, right? Most of the time. For example, in my case, I can say, I always have lunch at 1 p.m., right? And I can say, I sometimes watch TV on Sunday afternoon. Those are habits, right? Those are things that you usually do, right? And then we have also true, true things in present. Uh, Raul, can you please read the examples? Raul? The example. Mm -hmm. um, he works. He, okay. Where is the example? Um, can you see the screen? Yes, just ah, the true in the present. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He works on Wall Street. She is 60 years old. We live in New York. We live in New York. Very good. So what are the, uh, the true in the present? Things that are real, right? Things that are real for us. For example, uh, you can say, uh, I work, right? I work at 
English corporativo. I teach English from Monday to uh, Saturday, right? Or I live in San Salvador, right? Those are things that are true, right? They are real. What are some things that are real for you? For example. Uh -huh. For example, we can say uh, Alan uh -huh. works as a PE teacher. Is that true? Yes. Yes, that's true. Very good. That is true, right? I can say also uh, Corina speaks English, right? Okay. So that's another true, right? So things that are real, that's what we need to say. And then we have general facts or truth, but general information about everything, right? Let's take a look at the examples. Edwin, can you read the examples? Uh, general facts and truths. The earth is not flat. The sun rise in the uh, in the east. Water boil, boils at 100 degrees C. Okay, okay. I uh, 100 degrees. Very good. So these are things that are true, but these are things that are true for everybody, right? So these things here in the orange, these are true for you, right? And these are true for everybody, right? For example, we can say things that are true for me, right? I hate mathematics, for example. But this is not true for everyone. Right? It's just true for some people, right? So it's not a general fact, right? It's not general. But if we say the earth is not flat, Right? That is general information. Right? What would be another general fact that is for everybody in the whole world? Mm -hmm. What could be one? Orange is not black. I don't know if the sky is blue. The sky is blue. Very good, Melvin. The sky is blue. Let me put this right here. Okay. The sky is blue. Very good. That's one general, right? General truth. The sky is blue. What would be another one? I can say this, ocean water is salty. Is that true? Yes, it's true. It's true, right? And it's true for everybody, right? Ocean water is salty and things like that, right? Things, um, uh, we can say everyone, eat, everyone feels, afraid of COVID-19. Is that true? Yes. Supposedly it's true, right? For everyone, oh, yeah. right? Not for people in the US, but for everyone, right? So those are things that we need to talk about when we're saying general facts or truth. And also we use the simple present for future, right? For future things or a schedules, right, that we do. Look at the examples that we have here for future things or a schedules, right? Look at the examples. Um, Corina, can you please read the examples? One, two, and three. One, um, the future title. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm trying. My train, just read. My train, my train arrives tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We fly to Paris on Monday. Okay. Classes begin next week. Very good. That's an example of timetables or <clears throat> schedules, right? We can also say here, for example, 
right, for a timetable. <coughs> so, my English class my English class starts at 8 p.m. Is that something that is on your schedule every day? English class. No? Maybe? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, right? yes, it is. yes, that's for you. Okay, very good. What else yeah. is also part of your schedule in your life? Um, I go to bed 12. I, okay, I go to bed at, oops, sorry. Uh, at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. At 12 o'clock. Okay, very good. What would be another example here? Let's see who's connected. Is that? What would be another example here for a schedule? <coughs> um, I eat my breakfast at 7 a.m. Okay. I eat my breakfast at 7 a.m. That's perfect. And for something that is going to happen in the future in El Salvador, for example. Phase two begins on August 24th, right? I don't remember. Right. Phase two begins on August 24th in El Salvador, you know, for the pandemic, right? So that's something that is also on a schedule, something that has a time already set, right? And that is going to happen in the future. It doesn't have to be also it's only in the present. It can happen also for future activities, but they already have a time. For example, we can say this class finishes at 10 p.m., right? So that's not, the, that's not present, right? It's future, even though we're using the simple present form. Do you understand these two sentences? This English class finished 10, okay. Right? This English class finishes at 10 p.m. We are talking about the future, but we are using simple present. And that is actually possible, right? When we are using, look at this, future timetables with the schedules. Is that clear this part? Okay. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, maybe? Yes, 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 yes. What about the others? I just heard Edwin, Corina, and Alan. What about the others? Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay, let's continue. We're going to continue here. Don't worry, we're going to do more practice. Right. Let's see here. Sorry for the dog. Can you hear the dog? It's barking. It's barking. I hate that dog. Every time I'm it's working, yours? it's barking. No, I don't like pets. Because <laughs> I forget Why? to I forget to feed them. And I don't want <laughs> them to die. <laughs> Okay. Yes, it's better you don't have pecs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, I do see here, right, on this on this exercise, this is this is presentation is on your book, right? It says how to use simple present for a schedule activity, right? So this is related also to your work. Do you remember the activities that we have been discussing yesterday? Right. It says, for example, here, Matt serves at 2 p.m., right? Andrea 
Andrea cleans the tables from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. And Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Things that we need to pay attention to when we, when we have these schedules, look at this. We have the time, right? We have time here. What else is something something similar that they have for the sentences? All of them, they have a time. What else can you see that is similar? Uh-huh. They use up and from to all. Okay, these two, they use at, right? This one and this one. But the, these two, they use from. Right. Okay. Very good. What else? What else? The first ones, each the first one are a specific uh, time, and the second ones are a period of time. Okay. Very good. This is a specific time. Right. A specific time. And then these are periods of time. Right, periods mm. of time. Okay, very good. Right, for example, in my case, listen to the example. In my case, I can say, um, my class, my class starts at 8 p.m. Right? My class starts at 8 p.m. Is that a specific time or a period of time? What do you That's think? Specific. That's a specific, specific time. time. It's a specific. specific time. Very good. It's a specific time at saying that the class starts at 8 p.m. Right? Very good. That's a specific time. Now, what if I say, right? Look at this other example. I need you to pay attention here. Give me one moment. Okay, look at this. Oops, sorry. I teach English from, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Very good. That is a specific time or period of time? It's a period of time. It's a period of time. It's a period of time. Very good. It's a period of time. So we need to pay attention when we use at and when we use from. Right. Also, I can say I, uh, you can say I teach English from Monday to Friday, right? That's possible too, right? Or I study English from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., one hour every day, right? So you can give, actually, you can change the information that you have, right, based on what you need to say. Based on the information you want to describe, right, that's what you're going to say. Now, let's go ahead and continue here. What are we going to do with the simple present? And if you have a question, please let me know. Okay? Let me know if you have a question. Can you see the computer right now? Yes. yes. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to show you here what... <clears throat> Sorry. The, like, not the formula. Let's not call it a formula, but... The, 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 the order of the words that you need to say, right? With this, with simple present, you need to have the subject, right? Plus the verb, right? Plus, right? In this case, the complement. So just. Right? That's the very basic form of English, right? So in the first sentence, math serves at 2 p.m. 
um, Maria de Jesus. What would be the subject of this sentence? Matt serves at 2 p.m. Subject is Matt. Matt, okay. What's the verb? It serves. Serves, very good. And the complement? At 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. Very nice. Can you give me one sentence as an example, Maria? For you, what would uh, be an example? Mm -hmm. I eat my lunch at 1 p.m. Okay, I eat my lunch at 1 p.m. Oh, like me. Okay, oh, good. Is I, mm -hmm. there is it, uh -huh. complement my lunch at 1 p.m. Very good. Very good. Right, subject, very complement, and then we have the sentence right here with uh, the simple present. The formula is very easy. The only thing that you need to remember, guys, and that I need you to pay attention here, is when we have these um, pretty much subjects. When we, you have the subjects, I, you, we, and they, you don't change the verb. Look at the example that Maria gave us. I eat my lunch at 1 p.m. We don't make any changes. We don't say I eat. No, we say I eat my lunch at 1 p.m. And that example is perfect, right? But if you have the subjects, for example, he, she, or it, right? Then you need to make the change. For example, on the sentence, Matt yes. serves, Sir. look at the S, she is. She. right? At 2 p.m. Okay. Right? It's, if it's, I say, for example, I serve at 2 p.m., I don't need to use the S, right? And there are many, many rules that we need to remember when we are using these three. But it's only, guys, it's only when we use these three. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. Because we're going to do more example. Huh? I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know, but we're going to no. do more examples today, so don't worry. <laughs> good, thank okay. you. You're welcome. Now, let's see here. For example, if you look at the examples here, Andrea is he, is he, is she, right? Maria is she, Paul is he, Matt is he, right? And this I, it's for first person, right? We can say, for example, we, we start classes at 8 p.m., right? or we have dinner at 7 p.m., right? So I'm talking about all of us, right? So I don't need to use the S, right? Now, is it clear right now? Do you have questions? Questions? Don't be afraid to ask questions. No at the moment, it's very clear. It's very clear, okay. Pregunten, pregunten. Do you have questions? No? Okay. No. If you feel like you, you need me to explain again, please ask questions, okay? Hello, Ellington. Hello, Sulma, Osmin. Welcome. <laughs> okay, now let's continue here. Since we don't have questions, let's continue. Now, look at the affirmative statements, right? Look, in the affirmative statements, we have something very simple, right? And we can see what I just explained to you, right? We have I work, you work, he, she, it works, right? We work, you work, they work. If you see, we make the change only here, right? Let's take a look at the next verb, learn. 
I learn, you learn, and then he, she, it learns. learns, right? And then we have the last one, finish. He, she, it finishes. Then the other verbs, they don't have any other changes. Okay. They are in the base form. Right? So we don't make any changes is there, right? Okay, very good. Let's continue. Let me know if you have questions, please. Después de eso vamos a hacer un examen. Okay. Let's take a look at the questions. Look at the questions. How do we make questions here? And look at look at the example what, that we have. And I'm going to write here, right? I'm going to write one sentence and i need you to pay attention to this because it's very very simple okay now i'm going to write the example that maria gave me we're going to put here maria okay, sorry maria eat lunch at one yeah is that correct no. Yes. No? no. What happens? It's it's it. Ah, it's okay. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Maria eats lunch at one p.m. Now that is the sentence that I have. But look at the examples that we have there for questions, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So for questions, what we actually do in English is that we are going to change the order. We're going to change the order, but we are going to add an auxiliary, right? The auxiliaries that we use in English are very simple, right? The auxiliaries that we use are, right, do and does, right? So look at the, the ones that we use for does. We only use does for he, she, it, right? That's when we use that. And now for Maria, what would be this one for Maria? Am I using do or does? What do you das. think? Does. Does. Very good. Das. And then? Does she? Or oh, Maria? Does Maria? Does Maria? Is lunch? Are you okay. 1 p.m. Exactly, Corina. Okay. We don't use we don't use the auxiliary because oh. the auxiliary is here. Okay. The auxiliary is in does. So since it is here, we don't use it in the verb anymore. Right? And what we're going to do is that we're going to add a question mark at the end so we can make the question, right? Okay? What would be the the question, if I tell you this, uh, let's see. Mm. Okay, Sulma, what is the question for this sentence? Do, do we play soccer every Sunday? Do we play soccer every Sunday? Okay. Do we play soccer every Sunday? Okay. In regards to grammar, like to see the order of the of the question, it's correct, right? But is this question, if we ask this question, would be like asking to yourself, do we do we study English every day? Right? Do we play soccer? It's like we're asking the questions to ourselves, right? Do we play soccer every Sunday? Mm -hmm. Do we play soccer every Sunday? I don't remember, right? I don't remember. So that's what we have. What would be another sentence? Give me another example. Do they do they play soccer every Sunday? Ah, okay, very good. That's another example. If you want to ask, like, let's suppose. Let's, Let's let's invent. Let's invent that that Maria, Alan, 
Corina and Sandy, they actually play soccer every Sunday, right? Day four, they have a game, they, they have a team. Soccer. So we're going to ask uh, Edwin, do they play soccer, right? When we say they, we are referring to that specific group, right? Very good. Do they play soccer every Sunday? Okay. That's another thing, right? That's another thing. Very good. Right. Give me another example with another sentence. Tell me one positive sentence and then give me another example of a question. Let's see. Okay. And they eat pizza at lunch. They eat pizza at lunch. Good. What is the question for this, Sandra Veronica? Do they eat pizza at lunch? Do they eat pizza at lunch? Do they, eat? Do they eat pizza at lunch? Yes, they have money. Yes. Right? Oh, they, yes, they eat Little Scissors. <laughs> right? Five dollars. It's very nice. Right? Yeah. So we have the example there. Do we understand how to make questions with simple present? Yes. Yes? Is it clear? Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's continue then. Let's continue. Yeah. If you say yes, we're going to continue. Okay. Now, what we're going to do? How would you answer if I uh, if I ask you, for example, um, Sulma? Do they eat pizza on on weekends? What would be the answer to that? Yes. What is a possible answer? If mm -hmm. I ask you, do they eat pizza on 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 Saturdays? Yes, yes, they they. Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, they. Oh, they. Very good. So look at the question. Do they? Can you see my computer? Yes. Do they? Yes, they do. It's a long. Oh, right. Yes, they do. They do. So we're going to use the same subject, right, that we actually use on the question, right? So in the question, we have they. In the short answer, we're going to use they. What if I want to make this answer negative? How can I answer this negatively? No, they, do they eat no, pizza they on Sunday? No, they don't. No, they not. No, they no, don't. don't. Very good. In English, when we say short yeah. answers like this, you need to say, no, they don't, right? No, they don't. No, they don't. Sometimes, you know, American people, when they are angry, they say, no, they do not, right? But that's only when they are angry, right? When they, 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 are, they want to fight with you. But if you are with a normal response, you say, no, they don't, right? And if you want to give a long answer, a complete answer, no, they do not, or no, they don't eat pizza on Sundays. You give more information. But this here, my friends, this here, this here, right, are short answers, okay? Is that clear? Yes. Okay, now, what we're going to do is the following. Look at the information here. Uh, let's see here, Melvin, can you please read uh, for me this slide? Getting pairs. Getting pairs and tell your partner what is a regular day like in the workplace. Use simple present to tell the activities you and your 
College. Do. Colleagues. 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 Do. Hmm? Colleagues. Do. Colleagues. Do. Colleagues are like partners, right? Like people like you that they have work. Right? That's your colleagues. For example, my colleagues are other English of teachers, right? For uh, Corina, her colleagues are other administrative people, right? So those are the colleagues, right? Now we can say Esther and Sulma are colleagues, right? Because they are lawyers. Very good. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get in pairs, right, groups of two, and we're going to share only what you do in a regular day in your workplace, right? Remember, we right now the explanation is for you to understand the use of simple present. Remember what we did with Alan and Paul, right? Remember the use of simple present here. How do we use simple present? Right? For habits, for things that are true, and for future schedules, and then the uses that we do here. Right? Is it clear what we're going to do? This is going to be only speaking. Mm -hmm. Only speaking. I want you to speak right now. Do you have a question about this activity? No. No? Are you sure? Any questions? Okay, so let's go ahead and work right now. We're going to work in pairs. And we're going to work with two people each. So let's start. And let's choose one group each. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Choose your groups. Choose your groups. So we can go. Hello. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't know. I mm. a regular mm. day in your workplace. Mm -hmm. Workplace. How to use? A hey, number one simple present, verdad? First children. Okay. Mm -hmm. I. I. I play soccer uh, with my son. In your workplace? Oh, in my workplace. Mm -hmm. uh, in your workplace, uh-huh. Okay, I... Um, or maybe because right now you're working from home, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I start to work at 8 p.m. Okay. Um, I take a lunch at 12, 12, 12 p.m. 12 p.m., okay. Um, I think uh, I finish uh, I finish my work at six 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 p.m. Okay. Now, Fatima is going to help you. She's going to tell you more activities that you can do during the day, right? Because right now, Ellington, you said the beginning, the middle, and the end, right? But what else do you do? For example, in my case, I can say that um, I have meetings at 11 a.m. Okay, okay. I, for example, I have break. I have my first break at 9.30 a.m. So there are okay. other things that you do, other activities that you do every day in your job, right? But what you did is perfect. You mentioned three very good sentences right now. Very good. Okay. Right. Now, Thank Fatima you. is going to give you more examples and then you give more examples, Kelly. Okay? Okay. okay. Thank Very you. good. Yeah. You're welcome. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Okay. Before I start 
my practice, I I always drink coffee with okay. my always always drink coffee with my breakfast and and starts the practice at 7 a.m. some days some days a week you know uh, i work in a in a school at the mornings and i work in a in a professional team at night in the morning the, uh, in the morning uh, okay in the morning uh -huh. in the morning ah, okay mm -hmm. at the morning ah, okay in the mm -hmm. morning i i work i work in in a school in the morning mm -hmm. and i work in i work in the in a, with a professional team at night. Okay, very good. And at and at and at the afternoon, I work, I work in the in the school too. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. So that's it. What do you do? <laughs> Big loud. Ah, scream. <laughs> Okay, but I listen that you get grab for thirty again. Thirty for four thirty AM. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sure. Do you finish? No. No? no he no. asked me oh. about my colleagues. Oh, okay. Very good. What um, what do they do uh, currently in your typical in a typical day? Okay, that's a nice question. Uh, we we have a meeting at nine thirty mm -hmm. okay. every day. And the day is, is not is not a typical is not a frequently a normal day is very no sé cómo decirlo distinto different different different, different. Mm -hmm. it's not the same routine every day so oh. depends we uh, we have uh, a very different cases so depend that of that our our regular day okay uh, it's so different it's not the same all day okay very only, good. only uh, the the we have we we check we check our emails at eight o'clock Oh, that's but every day. day. Every day, but mm -hmm. the other day, other uh, is so different. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's interesting because you have different activities every day. Yes. You don't get bored. <laughs> yes. Okay, I will go with another group right now, okay? And see you in a minute. Okay, see you. Finish, teacher. Hello. Hello. You finished? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can I hear? Can I hear you right now? Give me the examples. One. Mm -hmm. One. Uh, Osmin. He works in Banco Promerica Torre Futura. He mm -hmm. always call to customers and self credit card. Um. He. He get. Get up, sip em, mm -hmm. and he watches watches soap popera las mujeres de la mafia. <laughs> las muñecas, <laughs> and, <yeah>. <laughs> The dolls, <laughs> and he likes playing 
basketball. Okay, very good. Very good. So we have three activities, right? Very good. Very good. What about, uh, tell me about Maria, Osmi. Okay, Maria, um, she get up, say, 6 a.m. Uh, she take your breakfast. My breakfast? His, her, her breakfast. Her breakfast. Uh -huh. Her breakfast uh, at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, he eat her Eight. lunch. She, she, sorry. She eat uh, her lunch at 8 p.m. And she return. 1 p.m. My lunch is at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. Oh. <laughs> <eight. laughs> <laughs> 1 p.m. and she returned her house to 5 p.m. and okay. she lives in Santa Tecla and uh -huh. she works in Col College Champanet. Okay. She now in English, in English, when we say, for example, she returned to her home. Uh -huh to her home because if you say you return her home it means that for example i can say i'm going to return my cell phone so i'm going to return my cell phone to claro for example and i, I don't want to return my cell phone right so she returns to her home exactly so she moves from one place to another place right and the other one mm -hmm, yes it's okay say i get up no um, I say yo me mu yo me muevo a mi computadora porque trabajo en en, uh -huh. en una oficina. ¿Cómo sería? Uh, ¿cómo? Yo me muevo a la computadora de las 8 de la mañana a las 5 de la tarde, por decir algo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I I stay in my computer uh -huh. for my work. Yes, you can say I work from home from 8 a.m to 5 p.m. Okay. So I, you're, work? You're, I, I work from home from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I stay in the computer the whole day. Right? So two things. So you, you give more context, more information. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's go with the others right now. Okay, thank you. Let's go, you're welcome. Let's go, let's go. Hello, everyone. Now, before we continue, I am going to call the attendance right now. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> not yet, not yet, me, not yet. Me, me too, I'm here. <laughs> present, present. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Until I call your name. Let's see here. I only have a few people. How many? There are two missing. Hello. Who's missing? Esther is here. Okay. We are we are poquitos. <laughs> yes, yes, you are very poquitos today. Okay, Esther Maricela. I'm here. Raúl Francisco Márquez. Present. Sandra Verónica Herrera. I'm here. Ada Lilian Hernández de Salmerón. Osmin Alexander Hernández Campos. Present. Ellington Antonio Fuentes Reyes. Present. María de Jesús Cardona de Fuentes. Present. Alan Javier Ardón Rivera. Present. José René Abrego Ruano. There's my, my name. Uh, Sergio Alexander Martinez Nieto. Fátima Giselle Valladares Parada. Fátima. I'm here. Present. Uh, hello. <laughs> Mayra Noemí Cardosa. José Antonio Renderos Alfaro. 
Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Zulma Patricia Donis Colato. Carla Gabriel Flores Pineda. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Here. Sandra Corina Miranda Amaya. Sandra Corina. Present. Melvin Alexander Serrano Mercado. Present. Ok, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, let's continue. You were talking right now with your classmates about what you do every day, right? What are your schedule activities? So, let's listen right now to some of your examples. We're going to start with... Uh, let's start with Maria. Right, Maria, can you please tell us your activities? What do you do every my day? Activities. Yes. My activities or my parents? Yours. Yours. Okay. Oh, yeah. I get up every day. I get up at uh, 6 p.m. every day. Mm -hmm. I always drink my breakfast at 7 p.m. I work from home. I stay in my computer from 8 p.m. to 5 p.m. So, so. <laughs> and okay. I eat, I take my lunch at 1 p.m. and I like watch doramas, TV, Korean TV. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Very nice, my Jesus. Give her an applause. Very good. Very good. She did great. Very good. Now, Maria, pick somebody else because all of them are ready right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, Sandra Corina. Sandra Corina, okay. Okay. Hoy no, Alan. My, <laughs> thanks, Miss. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> my parent uh, and in... you. My... Okay. You, yes. Yeah. Okay, I got up 7 um, a.m. I, I had breakfast at 7.30 a.m. I live home at seven for five o'clock. I I get I get work by car at eight o'clock. I finish work at four o'clock and get home every day at five o'clock. Okay. Uh, I go to bed. I excuse me. I, 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 I start class, English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. I go to bed late at 12 o'clock. Okay, okay. Very good, Corina. Very good. Give her an applause. Very good. And now one volunteer. Let's see. All of you are ready, so let's see. <laughs> no. Melvin. Okay, Alan, go. Go, oh, volunteer, <laughs> Melvin. <laughs> Alan, uh -huh. everyone, vote for Alan. Okay, Alan, go. <laughs> okay, we, with my partner, Sandra, was talking about what was our regular days. But mm -hmm. we imagine that we don't be at at home. Okay. <laughs> but but uh, but we usually um, I I usually start my day. I get up at four thirty four four thirty at the morning, and uh, and I went to my parent house to to. to Carry uh, to carry my little baby girl. Mm -hmm. to carry, care about. I don't know how it says. To take care. To take care, my baby girl. 
and whether uh, I go to to leave uh, my wife at at the bus at her bus at mm -hmm. 6 a.m. and later okay. I I come to my work at 6:30 and I took my I take my breakfast at 6:30 always drink coffee with my with my breakfast and I start the practice at 7 a.m. and okay. finish my first practice at at mm -hmm. 8:30 mm -hmm. and later uh, it depends if if I have class or no at the, at the college supposed to be <laughs> but I usually have Uh, some classes at between uh, uh, 10 to 12 p.m. and then I return to the school and have practice at 1 p.m. Ah, I, I, I take my breakfast at 12.30 okay. and, and I start practice at 1 p.m. Okay. And finish 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Later and later, uh, I pick up my wife at 6 p.m. And then, if we have, if if I have practice at night, it's that it's some days, only Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. I I have practice at night. On San Marcos, and I and I start at 9 p.m. and I finish 10:30 p.m. and I return to, to my house 11 11:20. Okay. To my house, uh -huh. some days at night. Okay. And I always brush my teeth. I hope so. I, <laughs> before I before I I, I go to sleep and sleep at 12 maybe some like Sandra Corina okay. <laughs> like, like 12 right it's a it's a bit it's a bedtime okay very good give him an applause very good very good now when we say for example Alan mentioned something that's very important when you say uh, he said I got to leave my wife at the bus stop right So the correct way of saying it is on the chat. I drop off my wife at the bus stop. Right? It's she says, okay, this is the bus stop. It's, Bye. it's right. on the chat, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I drop off check. my wife at the bus stop. I drop off. I drop off. Exactly. Okay. Also, we're going to pay attention to this. When we say college, right? College in the United States, people will believe that is the university. Right? Oh, college. Yeah. But college, college are very small universities. For example, here in El Salvador, one college could be uh, Centro Cultural. Do you know Centro Cultural? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's a college. That's a small university because they have university students, but they are just like 400 students, right? Now, a big university is like University of El Salvador. Right? That's a university. But when we want to talk about Colegio Champagnac, for example, we don't say college. What we say is private, private school. So, right. Uh, Champagnac, Garcia Flamenco, Liceo Salvadoreño, all of those places are private schools. Right? And then the other ones, right like uh for institutos nacionales that the way we call it here those are going to be public schools, schools right public schools and private school because college is the same as university is that clear okay. yeah okay one more thing i heard that most of you this phrase you say get up get up you need to connect This, the, the words, right? So you're going to say, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. 
mm -hmm. I get up every day or she gets up, right? She gets up, so you connect the words, right? Because it was say, I get up, so we sound like robots, right? We sound like, uh, 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 right? So we don't want to sound like that. We want to sound natural, right? So we need to say, I get up, I go to work, I, I leave my home. So most of the time, the words in English, they are connected to each other, right? Can I try my routine, please? Yes. Okay, um, I get up at uh, 6, uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, I work up at uh, 6.20, mm -hmm. and I saw the news at 7, 7 a.m., mm -hmm. and um, I leave my, my house to 8, 8 a.m. I arrive to my work at 7.15. Uh, I, I ride by my motorcycle. And uh, I drink a coffee at 9 a.m. I go to the supermarket to buy stuff for my boss at 10, 10 a.m. I have lunch at 12, uh, 12.30. And I do other activities in the afternoon at from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And I... I Go to my house. Uh, I'm sorry. I ride to my house at 5 p.m. and I take the. I have dinner at 6:30, and I actually I receive my class from my English class from 8, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, and uh, I brush my teeth at 10 t 10 20, and I go to bed at. 10, 10 40. Okay, very good, very good. That was actually very nice, right? The only thing, Edwin, is that we say, I watch the news. Watch oh. the news. Mm -hmm. So people will understand what you're talking about, but it's better if you say watch, right? Watch. Watch okay. the news. I, I very watch good. The news. Okay, I watch yes, the thank news. You. Very good. So now. Thank you. We're going to continue here. We need to practice more. And in order to practice more, we're going to do another activity. We are going to start with like marketing strategies. Do you know marketing strategies? Yes. Marketing. Yes? Okay, very good. Marketing strategies. Nowadays, we're going to see different marketing strategies because, you know, because of the pandemic, we have, you know, other new strategies that are coming. But what is an important strategy? Restaurants, let's think about restaurants in El Salvador. Restaurants could implement to get more clients, more customers. And what are some successful restaurants that you know? We La have Pampa. La Pampa, okay. Let, let's pretend, right, that we that all of the restaurants are perfect right now. Right? We know that some mm. of them are closed, but let's forget about that, right? Now. We're going to have these two questions. We're going to have three minutes to discuss with our partners. I'm gonna put you in groups of um, groups of three, okay? Three or four. So we can actually work and we are going to talk just these two questions, very easy, and then we come back, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Let's go right now. Two simple questions about the things that you know. Let's join the groups, right? Let's join the groups. Very good. Let's go. Remember the question? Very good, very good. Esther, Fatima, join the groups. Antonio, please join the groups. Esther, Antonio.
Esther. Esther, are you there? Could you join the group, please, sister? The social meaning? Uh -huh. um, Están atendiendo en los parqueos. Uh -huh. How do you say that in English? <laughs> Apareció la ficha. <laughs> but we, we talk in English, teacher. Huh? Before you uh, appear. Uh-huh. Are delivery? Oh, are yeah. you using delivery? Okay. They use delivery. And attends in the parking lot. They are, okay. They are attending in the parking lot. Yeah, La Pampa is attending at the parking lot. Uh, um, the Pizza Hut Vista. too? Pizza Hut too? Yes. yes. And Pollo Campero too? <gasps> no, San but Martin I... Too. San Martin too. I yes. prefer Don Pollo. It's, it's cheaper. But Don Pollo, you have to to walk to the cash to the cashier in, in order. In, you know, exactly. That is... Don Pollo is take out. Take out. Yes, take out. It's take out. Very good. Teacher, uh, redes sociales is social media. Social media or social network? Network. Social network. Do you use social network? Yes. Um, they use the, the app. Teacher, creo que me voy a salir de la clase. Dice que he estado con temperatura y dolor de cabeza. No me siento muy bien. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So just Después de esto, me voy, voy a ver si me salgo. Si hay tarea, yo lo veo en el en la plataforma. Que yeah, me está bien. Está bien. Haga, ah, eh, pues solamente envíe la información al, al chat de WhatsApp para que quede ahí ya. Eh, ¿Por qué faltó esta segunda segunda parte? Y mire el video mañana. Okay, no se preocupe. Sí. Voy sí, a se terminar se esta actividad. Sí, sí, tengo como un, unos cuatro días de estar así, no sé qué me pasa. Too much work. Me voy a... No, no, no es por el trabajo, es, no sé, estoy con escalofríos, con dolor de cabeza, temperatura, no es COVID porque no tengo dolor de garganta <risa> ni gripe. Ojalá no sea dengue porque tantos zancudos que andan. Tantos zancudos, a lot of mosquitoes, yeah. yeah. It's true. So, no worries, pero ahorita ayúdenles porque ellos no pueden. No, sí, sí. Que ahí ya estuvo hecho todo. Dos litros, salón. No. No, sí, aquí me voy a quedar ahorita. Y, y, pero si me salgo antes, ya sabe por qué es. Porque sí, siento que no aguanto. Ya, yeah, no worries, no worries. Solo manda el mensajito, apenas se sale, lo manda el WhatsApp y ahí queda y yo se lo reenvío al administrador. ¿Ok? Ok. Es por cosas de esa forma. Sí, sí. Ok, perfecto. Perfecto. Don't fall asleep, Raúl. Estoy bien agarrado de la mesa. Ok, I see you in a minute, ok? See you in a minute. Okay. Y lo que hablamos a good is try here. Ajá. Pero children, with cantos. No. Good. Is try. Okay. Strategies, the strategy is strategy, teacher. It's strategies, yes, that's very strategies. nice. Yes. The strategies, talking activity to help children with cancer. More client, client. Client, teacher, client. Clients. Clients. Yeah, you have two options, clients or customers. Clients, clients or customers. A customer, client. Uh -huh. 
What else? What else? Um, what else? Do you finish? Yeah. No. no. The, the other question is what are some successful restaurants do you, you that you know? know? Uh -huh. I think Pollo Campero. <laughs> yeah, that's a successful restaurant. What other? That's a fast food restaurant. Very good. Fast food. Mm -hmm. What else? I know what. Hello, Antonio. Nice to meet you. Uh, restaurant. China Walk. Pizza oh. Hut. Okay, China Walk, Pizza Hut. Okay, very good. Mm. Another restaurant. Mm -hmm. Two, 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 two. Promo. Sushiito. Okay, so you can say, uh, Esther, Sushiito is a successful restaurant, for example. Sushiito is a successful restaurant for sushi. For sushi, uh -huh, exactly, for sushi. And you give more information. Very good. Very good. Now, continue practicing. Uh, Antonio is going to be here with you right now, and we're going to finish in two minutes, okay? Okay, teacher. Very good. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you in a moment. Okay. For a moment. And the last. <laughs> <laughs> Diversify the product. The product. Diversify. 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 Diversify the Diversify the products. The products. Very good, Ellington. Very good. Continue. Yeah. I want to hear more. Nature five five sentences. Ah? Five five strategies for three strategies. Three strategy. You know, I don't understand. What, what do you say? Five strategies. Five, five strategies. strategies. Oh no, I yes. just answered strategies. How many do you, would you like to give? You have five already. Ah, okay. 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 You can write one, two, three, one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> In three minutes. <laughs> so, you can, so you can give me a strategies for my new company. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a sort of right. okay. okay. And the second. <laughs> And the second part, I I can see what are some success. No pude tomar. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. I don't know it's close. Okay. Okay, that's, I, I, I didn't know that. There are some so many uh, restaurants Restaurant. that have mm -hmm. success, successful and in, in, uh, in the last past years. Maybe do, do you know Fisheria? Yes. The Fisheria. 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 Oh, Fisheria, like the for seafood. Fisheria. For seafood, yeah, the, right? For okay. seafood, right. That's that's a really good restaurant. Well, if you if you like uh, seafood. Seafood. Yeah. <laughs> seafood. Oh. Do you like seafood? Um more or not less much. not much more or less uh-huh okay okay but basically Word. when i when i when i when i want to eat uh some shrimps or fish i go to the puerto but now i can't <laughs> <laughs> yeah fisheria yeah. is too expensive but it's nice yeah. they give you a lot of food i i could imagine that it's, it's like like a buffet uh, no, no, but what is there, like? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of types of 
uh, of plates. <laughs> no, okay. There is a, a taco shrimps, you know? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really yummy. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, it, it's like supermarino. Supermarino. Ah, so it's like supermarino. It's mm -hmm. like supermarino, right? You know, you know. Actually, um, two years ago, I went to a, a restaurant. When when you it's like it's like a buffet. So basically, there is there is a, a table. There is everything fresh: shrimps, fish, every kind of a, a, any every a, every type of fish. But but it's fresh. It's it's not it's not cocidos. So you oh. choose. It, you choose what do you want and you in in you give it to the um, chef. To the chef and uh -huh, and he start make uh, freir, como se dice? cooking fry uh -huh. Uh -huh. he he start frying what what do you choose and, and they give it to you in a couple of minutes and that's damn i was impressed i was impressed <laughs> because it was it was really nice yeah. i choose a poco calorada and, and some shrimps in another lonja. <laughs> it, was, it was nice. It was nice. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very nice. Yeah, mm, and very, yeah, very yummy, delicious. Very, it, was, it, it was delicious, trust me. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, okay. I, I think we're going to go back with the whole group right now. That's great. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go and let's share what we have. Let's go, let's go. Hello everyone. So now we're going to share right now what are some of the you know um, information that you discuss with your partners. Okay. I would like to start with Maria because she's going to go right. And once you finish, she can go right. <laughs> she will be telling us right now her information about your group, Maria. What do you discuss in your group? What is an an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients. Melvin, speak. <laughs> Maria, don't feel, doesn't feel good. Okay, okay, let's start with Melvin. Thank you, Maria. Yes, but I told you the ideas from Maria. Okay. Okay, this is, this is an uh, important uh, make a strategy for uh, implement more clients or more sales. And Maria told us uh, that uh, the, the restaurants or the, the business of food uh -huh. that are using a social media, social network. Okay. Um, there are attending in the parking lot. Okay. They are attending in the parking lot. What else? And they have drive through. Oh, they have drive throughs. And they are using the the apps like Uber Eat or uh, Hugo Eat. App Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, and very good. Hot. That's all. Okay, like Hugo and Uber. Okay, very good. Who else? The same question. Let's see here. Uh, another group. Choose another group, uh, Melvin. Uh, I don't know the group for Fatima? Fatima, okay. Okay, my partners was Esther and Sandra Corina. Okay. And we talk... Uh, uh, <laughs> There's an earthquake, can you feel right now? Yeah. There's an earthquake right now, it's shaking. Yeah. Okay. Pretty nice. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Very work. hard in San Miguel. Very shock. hard. You're in shock. <laughs> You're in shock. <laughs> no, in shock. It's normal in El Salvador. Exactly. <laughs> Relax right now. Relax. <laughs> Take it easy. Breathe. Puede 5.5 en la escala de Richter. Ya tiene, ya tiene calculador incluido. Se ha acostumbrado ya. Solo se va a mover de la clase si le cae una teja. Si no le cae una teja, pues no. Si le cae un pedazo de cielo, de, 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 de cielo ahí. Si no, no. ¿Ok? ¿Are we good, Fátima? ¿Ya? ¿Lista? Yes. Ok, yes. good. Elinto, your camera, please. Ok. Está asustado, está asustado. Está asustado. Fuera de la calle. Se salió ahorita. A media calle de estar el Esperémoslo mientras regresa. Sorry, sorry. Estoy viendo ya. Con corazón en la mano, viendo. Sorry, sorry. sorry. My baby is, is a problem. Ah, ok. My baby is a problem. Ok, ok. Let's see. Ready, okay. ready Fatima? Yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, we say the important strategy is variety of food or variety of service. Ok. Variety of food, very good. Variety of food. Variety. Okay, very good. What else? Have good price. Oh, to have good prices. Okay, have good prices. Oops, okay, good. What else? Prom promotion that the example is social media or, what? or graphic or what? public publicity okay graphic design okay en San Salvador okay very good what else help mm -hmm. another person okay Choose another person. Just, Fatima, we're going to say publicity. Publicity through social media because promotion is different. Right? We're going to see promotions next week, I think. Okay? Very good. And let's see for the second question. What are some successful restaurants that you know? Right? Another group. <laughs> Raúl. Raúl, okay. Hola, hello. Hello. What a uh, uh, Pampa restaurant. Okay. What would be a complete That's answer? Why... Some. Some sauces. Some successful. Successful. Okay, Restaurant. let's always provide Restaurant. complete answers, right? Some successful restaurants we know are oh, um. La Pampa. Okay, very good. What else? Subway. Subway. That's a franchise. Very good. Subway. Papa John. Papa John's delicious. Okay. Papa <laughs> John's. I think. That's the spelling, I don't remember. And what else? One more. Uh, pizza Hut. And Pizza Hut. Okay, very good. Now, another group. Choose another group, Raul. Sandra. Sandra. Sandra, which Sandra? Veronica? Sandra, Veronica. Veronica. Okay. Sandra. <laughs> okay, thanks, Raul. <laughs> <laughs> eh, desquite, ¿verdad, Raúl? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we know I can mention some. Okay. Eh, pollo campero, pollo campestre. Okay. Little Caesar. 
Ok, very good. Pollo campero. Campestre. Right. Little scissors. Yes. Ah, lo cuesta pupusas. That's a street pupusas food. A lo cuesta. Okay, that's a street food. That's street food. Uh -huh. right. Or pupusas. Right. Very good. What else? Oh, street. Uh, Only that? Only that? Yeah. In Sonsonate, in eh, Don Chicharrón. In Don Chicharrón. Oh, that sounds delicious. Okay. Ch Don Chicharrón. Okay, very good. So these are some things that we are going to use, right? We, I want you to remember that strategies for marketing that we're going to use social media or social networking is the same, right? Attention in the parking lot to have a variety of options for the, for the clients. Right? When we have more options, it's better for you to get more clients for you, right? You can also add payment options, right? Sometimes you call a, a, a restaurant and you say, uh, I have a credit card. And they say, mm, only cash, so you don't buy it, right? So you need to have payment options, right? Okay, we have variety of food, good prices, publicity, right? Graf graphic designs, all of that is very important for a company. Right? Now, let's go ahead and practice. We're going to continue talking about strategies, marketing strategies. We have here, if you see, a conversation, right? Mm. We have Mr. Mott and Jennifer. We have two people here. We're going to work right now with two of you. We're going to have Melvin is going to be Mr. Mott and Fatima Hissel is going to be Jennifer. So let's see. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of people who come in on a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies, strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, very good, very good. Now we're going to get in pairs right now. We're going to practice a little bit the conversation, right? That we're going to do, and I need you to pay attention just to these words. Uh, Melvin and Fatima, great job. Right? I just need you to pay attention to this. We're going to say this. How's it going? How's it going? How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? Is the same as how are you? How is it going? It's the same. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? It's the same. Sure. Yes. How is it going? I hear these words after. Oh, it's formal to say how's it going. Or oh, yes. uh, uh, the formal way is is say uh, how are you? You can say how's it going? How are you? Uh, how are you doing? Right? Those are formal or let's say not formal but a standard way of of saying uh, how are you? Mm -hmm. How's it going? How are okay, you? Good. But for example, uh, to your coworkers, you can say hey, how's it going? Or what's up? Right? But to your boss, you cannot say, what's up, right? That's not good. Mm -mm. Or, hey, 
for example, sometimes we 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 don't pronounce correctly and we say how are you doing and so that's not formal right but when you say how's it going it's correct it's a standard okay. english yes mm -hmm. okay good thank you very good so we're going to say here how's it going right and then this one <coughs> regular 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 regular, regular basis regular. Basis. 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 Very good. Basis. Right? Basis. Then Basis. we're going to work with this. Often. 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 Change. Promotion deserve. And then you say promoting. Promoting. Uh, promoting. Okay, listen. Promoting. 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 Very promoting. good. Then we say here promotional. Promotional. Promotional, promotional, promotional item. 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 Promotional item. Promotional item. Promotional Very good. Item. And this. No sir. No sir. No sir. sir. No sir. 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 Very sir. good. No, For sir. example, this you're going to say sir to a boy, right? To a man. Right? I can say uh I'm, I can start talking to Melvin and say, oh no, sir. Right? But if I'm talking to Corina, I cannot say no sir because she's a lady, she's a woman. Right? I'm not supposed mm -hmm. to say that. No sir is only for men. Okay. Uh, no, sir. Very good. So we're going to use this conversation. We're going to practice very quick this conversation. Remember, how's it going? How's it going? Regular basis. Okay. Right. Often. Change. Promoting a dessert. Promotional uh, item. Promotion no, sir. Item. No, sir. Okay, very good. So this is How what is we're going going? to do. We're How going to gone? regular basis. We're going to practice right now the conversation, right? But also, once we practice the conversation, I want you to practice and answer these two questions. Can you see my computer? Yes. Okay. These two conversations, the conversation, and the two questions are in your book, right? Are in your book. So we're going to use the book right now, right, to answer the questions and the conversation. Is that clear what we're going to do? Yes? Okay, perfect. So first, listen, number one, you practice the conversation. Number two, you answer the questions, okay? Okay. Very good. So let's go ahead and practice the pairs right now. Do you have a question before we start working? No? No. Okay. So let's start. Let's start. Let's see. We're going to work in groups of two. So let's start working. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Do you see the, the yes? Okay, very good. Choose your groups, choose your groups, choose your groups. Choose the group. Very good. Fatima, Jose, Jose Antonio, select the groups. I sent you an invitation for you to choose a group. Okay, very good. How are you, Maria? I teacher, I stay here. You will stay here? Are you okay? Are, are you sure? Yes. Yes. 
La despertó el dolor. Es, I no go, I out. No, no, okay. es, it's ok. Ah, okay. No quiero perder la clase, es que si no me desconecto. O sea, que me ah. duda, ¿verdad? Que hay un señor que la está evaluando. Eh, no, no, él es compañero de ustedes. Lo que pasa es que no se había podido conectar antes. Ah, le vi cara de, de inspector Gachet. <risa> no, no, los que me evalúan ni los veo, ni me fijo cuando me evalúan. Ah. <risa> ni cuéntame. <risa> no, he's, he's your classmate. He's your classmate. Ah. Uh -huh. His okay. name is Antonio. Okay. Pero siempre he tenido problemas con la compu de la uh -huh. semana pasada. Uh -huh. That's why. <laughs> no lo había visto. <laughs> ok, Yosmin. You are a Mr. Mont. Mot. I am Jennifer. Ok. Uh, hello, Jennifer. How is it, how it's going? Just fine, Mr. Mont. I'm just checking the number of people who... Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting the dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? A promotional item. Get in person, discuss the following question with the partner. What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? ¿Qué clase de restaurante maneja Jennifer? What kind of restaurant? Um, read, the converse, read the conversation and think about what kind of restaurant do you think she manages? Does she manage a school? She manage a... What do you think? No, she the the maybe maybe a restaurant. A... Maybe a restaurant. Sure she did something. Maybe a restaurant or promoting desserts. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, a bakery. A bakery. Very good. Very good. Yeah. A bakery. Maybe it's a cafeteria. Good. Right. Maybe a Starbucks. Okay. Yeah. Right. In different options. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Continue. We're gonna have one more minute. Okay. What? What are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients? Tell me, sir. How often do you we change the menu? The menu. The menu. The menu. The menu. 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 How often do How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting 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 week. Promoting Do we do we ever give a promotional hearing? No. Oh no 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 the pronoun. Excuse me. Yes, promotion. Okay, yeah. again, again. Do we ever give a promotional item? 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 Item. 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 No, here. No, sir. We never do. Okay. Promotion. Uh -huh. Item. Item. Promotional item. Promotional item. 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 Yes. Do we ever give a promotional item? Item. We never do. No, sir. No, sir. We never do. Okay, yeah. very good. Good, very good. Teacher, <laughs> las, las, yes? pre, las preguntas que decía que íbamos a responder eran, eh, según esto, a, lo, a las preguntas que teníamos anteriormente. Exactly, exactly. What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer money? Bueno, la, la estrategias son verdad la primera uh -huh. ¿Qué kind of restaurant do you see Jennifer oh. the, the questions the questions are in your book no the questions are in your book it says that the questions they are on page let me see what are some marketing stress for the restaurant is use page 20 something give me one moment 
21. Yeah. Page 21. Yeah. Page 21. No. Pero Yeah, page 21, you have what kind of restaurant do you think mm -hmm. Jennifer manages? Do you think Jennifer manages? Mm -hmm. What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? Do you think she manages based on the conversation? Look at the conversation and tell me, do you think Jennifer manages a bank? Number of no. people. No. no, right? It's a restaurant. That's so good. It's a restaurant. What type of restaurant? It's a restaurant. It's so good. Mm -hmm. What type of restaurant? Hmm? Okay. That's so good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Often the shame the menu for children. What king of restaurant? That's so good. Look. I am thinking about a marketing strategy. The Bluetooth, no, pero no se oye. No, no se escucha. Teacher, how are you? Oh, uh, we. Uh -huh. no, we already dis discussed with Fatima the, the paragraph and the and the and the questions. Oh, okay, very good. But basically, very good. Uh, Antonio join Antonio joined us right now, but he can hear us. You too. Tiene problemas, creo yo, con la compu. Tiene problemas con la compu, Antonio. Yes, my new Bluetooth. Ah, it's not working. But maybe tomorrow you can watch the video on the platform, right? So you can practice, okay? But keep practicing with Edwin and Fatima. They are going to help you. Practice the conversation, okay? Okay. Very good. I will see you, oh, I will see you in one minute. Let, let's go, let's go. Let's go with the others. Okay. Okay. Nine, okay. Okay, quickly in one minute, I'm going to call attendance again, okay? Uh, just say present or here I am or aquí estoy, right? Very quick. Esther Maricela Orellana Maradiaga? Here I am. Raul Francisco Marquez? Present. Sandra Veronica Herrera? Adal Sandra Veronica, I'm here. Okay, Ada Lilian, no. Osmiga Alexander Hernandez, present, Ellington Antonio Fuentes, Ellington, present, eh, María de Jesús Cardona de Fuentes, present, Alan Javier Ardón Rivera, present, present, José René Abrego Ruano, eh, Fátima Giselle Valladares Parada, present. Mayra Noemi Cardoza, José Antonio Renderos Alfaro, presente, Juan Francisco Ayala Montano, Juan Francisco, Zulma Patricia Donis Colato, Carla Gabriel Flores Pineda, Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo, Here. Sandra Corina Miranda Maya, Sandra Corina, Present. <laughs> Melvin Alexander Serrano Mercado. Present. Okay, very good. Just to Man. check one more time. Ya vieron, menos de un minuto. Okay, let's continue. Let's see the conversation. I want to listen to some of you. How you practice your pronunciation. Teacher. Yes. Sorry. I don't listen my name. <laughs> But Sorry, I, I'm here. here. <laughs> Ah, 
Sandra Verónica Herrera, present. present. Bien preocupada, okay. bien preocupada la Sandra. Ya que... Sí, mucho, mucho. Very yo, pero aquí nice. estoy yo saltando. Very... I think we could okay. listen let's to you. Let's, let, let's go, let's continue. Very good. I, I want to hear to some of you. I need two volunteers. One Mr. Mott and one Jennifer. So we can practice the conversation. Who wants to try? All right. Okay, Alan. Fatima, and... let's me. try. Oh. Okay, Fatima, and then Edwin. Okay, Fatima, and no, Alan and Edwin. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello, Hello, Jennifer. <laughs> let's start. You start, Edwin. Go ahead. Okay. I'm sorry, Brad. Hello, Jennifer. How's it going? Just fine, Mr. Matt. I am check checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. <laughs> that, so that sounds good. Look, I'm thinking about new marketing strategies, and I want to, you know, some, some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Yeah, do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. <laughs> okay. yes, yeah. We never do. <laughs> very good, guys. Very, that, that very was, good. That was a good one, Alan. That was a good one. That was a good Give them an applause. Very good. Very good. Very yes, nice. That was, that was... Okay. One more couple. One Mr. Matt and one Jennifer. <laughs> Nobody? Who wants to practice? Practice your English right now. Who wants to practice? I'm Jennifer. Okay, very good, am, sir. I'm Mr. Mott. Very good, Raul. Let's go. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look. I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promo promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. We never do. Okay, very good. That was nice. Very good. Now, we're going to see, based on the conversation, we need to answer two questions. What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? Um, let's see here. What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? Ellington? Mm-hmm. Um, Jennifer. Jennifer is a regular basic. Uh, and Look at the question. Mm -hmm. Listen to the question. What like kind of restaurant, kind of restaurant do, you do you think you Jennifer see? manages? Uh, is a restaurant? Oh, yes, I'm going to Jennifer <laughs> manages. Jennifer manages, uh -huh, Raúl. Jennifer manager, uh, uh, bakery, probably. Jennifer manages bakery. a bakery. No. Okay. Right? But since he said, listen to what Raúl said, probably. 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 So we're probably. going to say here, I think, that's probably. I think Jennifer manages a bakery. Very good. What's another answer that you can give to this? I think. Another person? Coffee and, and dessert restaurant. Okay, coffee Sulma? Uh-huh. I, yes. I think Jennifer uh, manages uh, coffee and dessert restaurant. Coffee and dessert restaurant. Okay, very good. Very good. What would be another answer to this? One more.
Oh, too many. Uh -huh. One more. <laughs> Edwin. Oh, what are some marketing? Uh, Remember, we're there. using fast, we're fast using food? the okay. We're using I think right. So that's maybe. I, right? I think Jennifer. I think Jennifer manages uh fast food. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I think Jennifer manages manages, manages a fast food what fast food. Uh, of um, Money, a fast like a Burger King or McDonald's, I don't know. Okay, how it's, do you call uh, that? Fast food? Restaurant. Restaurant. Very good. Fast, fast food, food restaurants. restaurants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, fast food restaurants, right? Those are McDonald's, those are you know, Don Pollos, those are those are fast food Wendy's, those are fast food restaurants. And let's see for the next question. Let's take a look at the next question. It says here, what are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using nowadays, so right now, according to the conversation, nowadays. to get more clients? There is one answer only. Who wants to give me that answer? Promoting a desert every... Okay, Sulma? Promoting a desert every week. The restaurant? Mm -hmm. For more in the restaurant. The restaurant is promoting dessert every week. A dessert every week. That's the only answer. Look at this. Right? Subject, verb form is promoting and complement a dessert every week. Dessert right? every week. We need a full answer, right? Very good. So this is what we have, right, for this activity. Tomorrow, we are going to continue working with marketing strategies, as you can see, right? And we're going to continue working with adverse of frequency. For the activity that you're going to do on the forum, I'm going to put this. This is going to be the forum activity for tomorrow, okay? What are we going to do? We're going to read about offline and online marketing strategies. For example, before the pandemic, before the coronavirus, right, there were only like offline marketing strategies, right? But now, right, now we have strategies like the ones that Melvin's group mentioned, right? We have drive-throughs, we are attending in the parking lot, we are using apps for delivery, right? Like Ugo, Uber, and we have many things. So this is going to be the activity. What are you going to do? Is that you're going to try to have the definition, right? For each of this. So I need you to look at, to look at this information and try to answer three in the forum. Only three, right? Because we have nine. And here in the class, we're going to see the answers. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, in the, in the forum, you're going to only match three. For example, if we say number one, advertising your product on large outdoor posters. Like when you are driving in the street and in your car, and you see the posters there, right? How would you call that? Is that a company blog, email uh, marketing, billboard advertising, word of mouth? What is that? Poster. What do you think is that? You're mm -hmm. going to look for the answer, right? In this case, right, the answer for this is going to be <laughs> billboard is an mm -hmm. outdoor poster. Maybe, uh, right? mm. maybe, I don't know. So I'm going to put here, billboard. Okay. Right? So mm. how, how many, how many, how many definitions are you going to complete? Three. three. Only Five. three. Three. Only three. 
Well, if you want to do fine, perfect, Melvin. You can do fine. <laughs> but okay. I'm going to ask you only for three. And where are you going to complete this? Yeah. In the forum. In the Very good. In the platform. In the platform. In the forum. Okay. Also, I'm going to switch to Spanish. Do you have questions about the activity before we switch? Questions? No. No? No. No, teacher. Okay. Now, no, uh, before we continue in Spanish, terminen las tareas de, la, de esta semana. Ayer ya tenían la tarea número 6. Ahora ya, va, ya van con la tarea número 7. Miren la cara de la celda de la santa. Van en tareas 6 y 7. Ya llevan dos. Los forums también se toman en cuenta, por favor. Y eh, vi que algunos los estuve escribiendo hoy porque... Tienen que tener una nota, lastimosamente en el país se ve si uno aprende o no a, con notas, ¿verdad? Con números, aunque no debería ser así. Entonces, eh, sí. tienen todos que tener 8.0 para pasar. Hay algunos que no tienen 8.0, tienen menos de eso y otros que no han completado las actividades. Les voy a dar esta semana para que termine la semana 1, pero el sábado ya tienen que tener semana 1 y semana 2. Mm. Si no, les va a quedar lo que ya tenían. Si tenían 5, mm. eso les va a quedar. Mm. ¿Ok? okay. ¿Questions okay. about that? Yeah. No? No. no. Ok. Fíjense, fíjense en, las, en las letras mayúsculas al inicio. Fíjense entre el espacio de las palabras. También pongan la atención a los puntos y pongan la atención. Salud, este. Pongan la atención a, los, a, a las letras y a cómo deletrean todo porque eso les, les pone los ejercicios como error. ¿Ok? Ok. Very good. ¿Any questions? Raúl se cayó, ¿no? ¿Estás bien? Ok. okay. So. De, de, de la, nada más. Me de, 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 de. Se soltó de la mesa. Sí, okay. Si se van a seguir las. Consultarles si se van a seguir como las. Ah, las asesorías de hay, mañana. Hay, hay unas asesorías. Ajá. No, sí. Yo creo que ahora me tocaba 12. Ahora es 12. No, tomorrow. El miércoles. Ah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, <risa> the 12. We have 10 minutes. Ya les enviaron un correo a todos los que van a tener asesoría por 10 minutos mañana. Por si tienen alguna pregunta rápida, concisa, y vemos los 10 minutos. Y de ahí, y si no tienen, también avisen. ¿Ok? Y si no tenemos, le decimos no tenemos, nos conectamos. Exactly. Exacto. Okay. Pero antes, antes de conectarse lo pueden hacer. ¿Ok? Ah, bueno. Very good. Ok, okay guys. Then I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. Take care. Bye. 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 See, you see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Partner.